All right. <clears throat> hey, Cancer. I feel like I've been gone forever. But it's not true. <clears throat> it's not true. Um, I've just been taking the weekend a little bit slow. Hanging with the kids. So, um, I'm doing a reconciliation read for June. All right. And you're going to know this is your read by your energy, your current situation, the past, what caused the separation. And I'm going to pull your person on your mind, their energy and what they want you to know. All right. But the intention is set for June reconciliation. Okay. So as long as you guys can see this coming through and you want it and you desire it in your heart, um, it's going to be your read. If the energy of this connection does not resonate, make sure you check your moon rising and Venus placements. Um, and if you're new, welcome to the channel. I do hope you guys will stick around and subscribe. So I'm going to pull um, <clears throat> a romance angel just to see what's coming through on your end and the person that's on your mind, where your guys' thoughts and feelings are. And you can put these um, however they feel like they resonate with you. So if you resonate with one, just know that your person is feeling the other way. All right. Um for cancer so we got you guys coming through as stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance okay again with the reconciliation so i do feel like you guys uh, could possibly i do feel like there's been a connection here for some time so i do feel like this is something that's existent um i don't feel like this is <clears throat> particularly a ghosted read uh, maybe more of a separation type of read all right and it's going to go from any dynamic um and who knows, we might get to some that come out to be brand new. All right. Um, and then we have retreat. So it's time to disconnect from the world. Okay. And I do feel like that could uh, pertain to you guys um, retreating away from each other, pulling back that energy, but also too with the reconciliation coming through, um, you guys uh, getting back together, reconnecting, and then um, uh, taking time um, for yourselves and just reinventing, you know, the love that was um, supposed to be. In between you guys <clears throat> and um, you could resonate with both of those but just know that I did set the intention where um, I'm pulling yours and their energy and so just as well your person I feel is uh, pretty optimistic about wanting to um, get back together with you all right so your current energy cancer's current energy right now okay so your current energy, um, we have the key, the king of pentacles and the queen of wands. So you guys could have earth or fire in your chart as well as your partner, um, being earth or fire. So what I feel is going on here is I do feel like there is a dynamic of a marriage or a long-term committed relationship that's happening here. And I do feel like that focus is on your mind, bringing that stability and that loving home, um, that connection back into existence. I feel like that's where you're at. So um, I don't really feel like regardless of what happened in the past, I do, I do not feel that you are in a dreary or down like trodden type of energy. Um, I feel like your focus is um, now this is coming back together. We're going to get back together and um, it could be too that you've already kind of started the stages of reconcile okay so you could be talking to this person not sure where it's going to go and you were drawn here for a reason to know that um the the connection um it is possibly coming through all right but we have um the king and queen so that shows me that this is a, a, a tighter uh, knit um connection right here all right so your situation currently that's some pretty positive energy to be in your situation <clears throat> so we have the two of pentacles and i feel like that is agreeing with that aspect of kind of not really sure where it's going to go being drawn here for confirmation um with the two of pentacles i feel like that that that's just going back and forth in your mind what's going to happen with this where is this going to go um where do we uh where do we go from here um, you know, at a crossroads, right? With the two of wands, um, that's a depiction of being at a crossroads, not sure what path you're going to go down or where this is going to go next. Um, but ultimately I do feel like this is coming through as the, um, the energy of, you know, wanting that long-term and loving, um, stability and, uh, commitment. And with the six of pentacles, um, your, your current situation, I do feel is, um, you're, you're balancing your own self, no matter what you're making sure that you're successful, you, everything is go going through in your life the way that you want it to regardless of what's going on in the love um, department of your connection 
So in the past, what is going on in the past? What happened in the past? How did this look for cancer? <clears throat> um, we have the four of wands. Okay, so in the past, here we have the four of wands. So I feel like that's a depiction of communicating about marriage or the marriage in itself. All right, it could be um, that this this was a family a marriage or you guys are talking about the future, the family, the marriage. And the reason why I'm saying or talking about is because we have the page of pentacles, which is about manifestation um, and seeing things, being able to see things come to fruition. All right, so I do feel like, you know, in, it, here's we're, in the past, we got the marriage. We got, we're building a life together. We're building a future together. Um, and then comes this 10 of swords, which is sad ending. So I feel like this is a depiction of neither of you guys um, neither you or the person on your mind wanting this connection to be done be over with so let's see what caused the disconnection the split <clears throat> um, but I do if you guys um, you guys could be at a distance you guys could be uh, just talking about the long term future I do feel like even if you're at a distance you've been connecting with this person for some time okay um, in the past so what caused the disconnection the split um, here's what I'm going to say. It could be, we have the three of wands, which is that disconnection. That is the the distance, the traveling, the, the, um, it, it, are we going to be able to do this? Are we going to be able to see this through? So I, I feel like, um, this, it could be that if you are married or in a long-term commitment, something happened when somebody was away. Um, it could be if you're trying to build a future, it's hard to foresee that right now. It's hard to, be, to foresee the new beginning because it could be because everything's that's going on right now, um, with COVID closing borders, closing. Um, and even if you're dealing with somebody in the same country, um, I just feel like there's something here at a distance that's preventing you guys from the, the new moving forward. Okay. Um, and it could be too that some of you guys, um, if this is a marriage, a long-term thing, the other way I'm kind of looking at it is something could have happened when somebody was out of town on a job, out for travel, out for work. If that's, um, you know, that, that those are the two kind of ways I'm seeing that and something happens and boom, we have this, the fool card coming out. And it could be that some of you guys feel like you were made to, to look like a fool. But on the other note, if we're dealing with somebody from, um, at a distance, um, it's the trouble, it's the trouble of having, um, um, that new beginning come to you. All right. And with the five of cups, it's like, uh, you know, everything just uh, shitty happens, you know, everything just always negative. It's not nothing, you know, it, I almost kind of feel like this energy right here is why can't anything just go my way? And why can't it be smooth? Why can't it be perfect? Why can't it just be um, happiness? I, I, you know, I deserve that. Um, regardless of where you're standing or what, where you identify with this, I just feel like it's, uh, nothing ever goes my way. Right. Um, I don't see anything super negative here, so I don't really feel the need to clarify um, this energy, but I am going to pull your person's energy right now. That seven of pentacles is dropping through. So the person on your mind, their current energy, we have, um, they're, they're in a mode of healing. So you, again, quite possibly you guys could actually be, um, starting to communicate, uh, through the differences that you guys had. Okay. The person that's on your mind, they're coming through with this um, healing component. This is about um, wanting to satisfy the 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 where we where things went wrong. I want to heal this. I want to move forward. Okay, so the person that is on your mind, they're also in a very high state of mind, a very positive energy. That's why I feel like you guys are talking. Um, and this person is is on board. They want to move forward. So if you if you guys had some low energy, possibly about not seeing things. Um, get off the ground or if somebody you know if there was a misunderstanding in a, a marriage um while somebody was away i do feel like you guys are moving past that um you know and this person that's on your mind they're coming through with the the healing card um you know foreseeing wish fulfillment and moving forward that victory here lying in the future so um the person that's on your mind they're in a very very positive energy right now um, just as well. So let's just see what messages they want to, they want to give you for the person that's, um, on cancer's mind. What messages does this person want cancer to know? They want to redo. 
they want to restart they want to they want a redo all right and the reason why i'm saying and you guys for some of you guys it could be that you're not hearing from this person quite yet so some of you guys may not be in the stages of um, hearing from them but you're in a positive light because you actually feel that energy surrounding you with the page of swords that's what the page of swords represents that energy is right around you you can feel it and that's what's putting you in a high state of mind okay um but also this person wants to tell you you know i've been watching you and um you know it could be on social media but um i i you're I'm, I'm loving your energy and i'm absorbing your energy and you know i do i want to i want to come through and i want to i want to be um i want to be somebody that can that um you know, even if you don't find that I, I deserve a second chance or another opportunity, um, I, I want to swing it, you know, um, I want to make it right with you no matter what. And I want things to move forward as we kind of envisioned, um, in the past with that chariot card. Okay. So that's what your person's wanting to say. And that's kind of what I'm seeing for this reconciliation. Now we're going to get a little bit deeper. Um, <clears throat> so for this one, I think I'm going to pull, um, I'm going to pull some love bomb cards and they're not my deck. Um, in case you find the name offensive, I did not create the deck <clears throat> and we're just going to see what comes through and not every single message will resonate, but let's just see what comes through for you guys. Okay. So I'm going to take all, all of them that came. All right, Cancer. So we have you brighten the day of those around you. So this person could be seeing that when they're like spying on you and being all up in your business unaware to you. I always have more fun when I'm with you. Um, I admire your persistence. That could be in any area of your life. And this person could have told you that in the past, um, how much they admire you. I always smile when I know I'll see you soon. I feel like that's going to be some of that distance resonating right there. And I really appreciate your comforting words. Thank you. All right. So there's some messages right there. And then um, let's see. I guess I'll pull a soulmate card. Because I do feel like you guys have some past. <clears throat> what, what else is coming through? And this is more going along the lines of um, what they want to tell you. We have be still, listen, feel, and just be. Have you forgotten what's truly important? When you pass from this world, all you take with you is your soul and the beautiful memories it holds. Um, that could have something to do with your situation. And then we have, I'm so grateful for you, my love. You give so freely without condition. Life is an endless flow of blessings because of your great love. All right, so there's some messages from your person, and I'm just going to do one more and pull some advice. So what advice for cancer do we have? Yeah, <clears throat> your angels and spirit guides saying, you know what, you can feel this energy. You guys who are pretty in tune with yourselves know it's coming. All right, and that high priestess card coming through, I do feel like that's more of an, an escalation of where you guys are going. All right, for those of you um, who, it doesn't matter if you're married or at a distance, I feel like y'all have been in connection for a while. There's going to be a tightening. There's going to be a strengthening and a fresh um, beginning when it comes to this, um, that one that instills um, the partnership, the best friend, the moving forward and, and you guys really taken off to be a success and, and to like start actually enjoying um, the journey that you guys are putting together for yourselves. Okay. So with that being said, I'm going to pull, um, I'm going to do initials and signs. So I'm going to roll the dice to see what signs are coming through. All right, so we have Libra. Libra again. We have Capricorn. And we have Aries. That was Aries coming through, but my finger kicked it over to Taurus. So uh, Libra, Pisces, um, Aries, and Taurus. And let's see what initials are coming through. Um, and this could be yours or their first, middle, or last. Yours are their first, middle, or last initials. So we have a V, A, D, P, another A, F, J, and R. All right, Cancer, I'm going to leave it there, you guys. I do hope that you'll... Um, comment down below and, and put some good vibes out there for those who maybe haven't heard from this person yet. Um, send off some positive energy and you know what you put out there, you guys, we get back tenfold. So spread that cheer, spread that love, you guys. Um, and, and just really expect your situation to come through like you have desired. All right. Bye, guys.